it's like your body's literally imploding on you, like it's crushing. Um, it sometimes could be throbbing, sometimes it could be stabbing. It is agonising pain. You can't move and you just can't wait for it to be over, to be honest. When Zainab goes to A&E, she's meant to be put on a morphine drip as quickly as possible. Instead of your blood cells being round, they are sickle-shaped instead. So that means as they are going through your blood vessels, sometimes they can get stuck to each other, and this means that they can have a, a bit of a clot, and that's where you get like the extreme pain, because that's called a crisis. But too often, hospital staff don't understand Zainab's needs. Once, she was left in agony for eight hours. Just having conversations is really hard. You're trying to get across that, actually, this is really serious and you need help there and then. Um, can someone help you? And it's trying to, you haven't, you're trying to battle the pain, but also um, try and convince people to help you as well and that you are in serious need of help, and I think that's quite hard. In today's report, MPs say that specialist care is good, but on general wards and in A&E, many doctors and nurses are ignorant of the disease and poorly trained to deal with it. The MPs also conclude that the negative attitudes directed towards people with sickle cell disease are often underpinned by racism. The death of Evan Nathan Smith is one reviewed in the report. The 21-year-old rang 999 from his hospital bed to ask for oxygen. A coroner decided he would have lived if staff had listened. NHS England says it recently overhauled the way treatment is delivered to patients, with 10 new centres for sickle cell disease being set up across the country, including dozens of specialist teams. But for those pushing for improvement, that response misses the point. The problem uh, lies in general wards, in accident and emergency, and unless those are addressed in a joined up way with the specialist centres, there'll be more preventable deaths uh, and that would be unacceptable in our view. Across the UK, 15,000 people like Zainab live with sickle cell disease. When they're in pain, they want to be listened to. Surely that's not too much to ask. Catherine Jones, Five News.